January wrap up for 2019. I ended up reading 12 books this month so I'm going to be splitting this wrap up into two parts so these are the first six books I read for this month so without further ado let us get started. <sighs> the first book I read was Chalkman by CJ Tudor and I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It follows Eddie and his friends who in 1968 created a secret code that they used to communicate with each other pertaining these little chalk figures they would draw around the city. The color of the chalk man would symbolize different things that they were trying to communicate with each other. One day the chalk men lead the group of friends to a dismembered body and now in 2016 Eddie is moved on but then he receives a letter that pertains a little chalk man drawing. After discovering that his friends also received a letter with this chalk man he decides that it is a prank and he's trying to move on again but then one of his friends ends up dead and it's the story of them trying to figure out what this chalk man is supposed to symbolize. I really loved the alternating perspectives between two timelines 2016 and 1968. It was really cool to see how the things that happened in 1968 shaped who Eddie was in 2016. I think that the plot and storyline definitely kept you on the edge of your seat the entire time. I wanted to keep reading to know what was going to happen next but I think that the ending was very predictable and it wrapped up a little too nicely in my opinion. I really liked each character in the friend group and how they all brought something different to the group and I loved how each meeting with the friends brought a new clue to the mystery and what was going to be unraveled in the end. The book definitely doesn't feel like a debut novel so I'm very excited to pick up her next book which I actually have a copy of. It's called The Hiding Place and it's upside down but I'm really excited about it because I just got sent it from Penguin so thank you so much to Penguin but I'm super excited to get to this because I really enjoyed this one so I'm hoping that this one is also real good. The next book I read this month I'm not going to get into a lot of detail because I have a full review on my channel if you want to hear my full thoughts but it is Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I love it. It was so good. If you don't know what this is about like where have you been but basically it's about Jude and her twin sister Taryn as well as her half fae sister Vivi whose parents end up being murdered by Maddox who is a fairy and he whisks them off to fairy to live among the fae and they're very ridiculed because they're mortals they don't fit into the society so Jude quickly realizes that in order to make a name for herself she's going to have to be very tricky like the rest of the fae and it's basically the story of her trying to make a name for herself. It's really good, highly recommend. If you want my full thoughts, then check out that review. The next book that I read for this month was The Lonely Dead by April Henry, and I gave this a two out of five stars. I was really excited about it, but definitely was not for me. It follows Adele who ever since she was a little girl she's had the ability to talk to ghosts. Her mother had the same gift but always told Adele to ignore it because other people wouldn't understand. One day on her way home she notices her ex-best friend Tori sitting underneath a tree in the woods and she quickly realizes that she's dead and as news of Tori's murder comes to light she becomes the main suspect in the case. Honestly two stars may be a bit generous for this book. I was bored for most of the story. Nothing really happened. Most of the story was just Adele feeling sorry for herself and complaining about how nobody understood her and how she has to take these pills for her schizophrenia, but she's not schizophrenic because you can just see ghosts, so that doesn't mean she's schizophrenic, but people don't understand, and it's just this repeating inner monologue about how sad she is, and it just gets annoying after a while. I just didn't feel as though Adele developed in any way during the story. It was just the same old thing over and over again. I also felt that the other minor characters were very one-dimensional and were very flat. They didn't really have any personality whatsoever. I also kind of hated Tori. She was just like a despicable human being and honestly she kind of deserved to be murdered in my opinion. I mean nobody deserves to be murdered but like she's not nice. I just honestly did not care about any of the characters or what was going to happen to any of them. I didn't have the tense suspenseful feeling that I usually get when reading thrillers. It just wasn't for me. The next book that I read was called This Lie Will Kill You by Chelsea Pitcher and I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I have a review of it 
in my buzzwordathon wrap up video so I'm not going to go into super detail but basically it follows five teenagers who go to a party one year ago and somebody ends up dead then a year later they receive an invitation to compete for a scholarship and they quickly realize the person who behind these letters is actually seeking revenge so it's basically the story of that it was advertised as clue meets riverdale so i was super stoked about it but it definitely did not enjoy it as much as i wanted to it was entertaining while i read it but it all wrapped up really conveniently like the shit that went down would not have happened ever in any capacity and it was also pretty predictable right from the beginning i knew where the story was heading but as i said it was entertaining so it was fun while it lasted the next book that i read was slayer by Kristen white and i gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars it follows nina and her twin sister artemis who have been raised at the watcher academy watchers are trained to protect slayers who are these girls who have supernatural strength in order to fight demons Years ago, when Buffy Summers, the most famous slayer in the world, split the world in two, she destroyed the Seed of Wonder, which basically got rid of all of the magic in the world. This means that no more slayers are ever going to be created in the world. Nina has spent her entire life as the Watcher medic, using her skills to heal rather than hurt, so needless to say, Nina was very surprised when she found out that she was the last slayer ever created. Now, with the help of her friends, as well as her Watcher in training, Leo, she needs to protect the world from the demons stuck on Earth. So this takes place in the world of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've never watched an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so I don't have the nostalgic feel that a lot of other people do. I know that so many people love this TV show, but personally, I don't know what it's about other than there's a girl named Buffy who kills demons. I think that because of this I didn't rate it as high as a lot of other people because it has a lot of references to Buffy which I obviously didn't really understand but it was still super entertaining, really fast-paced, really fun. At times I did find Nina to be super self-absorbed and kind of annoying. Everything had to do with her and how she felt sorry for herself and it was just like girl like you a slayer. Stop it go kick some ass. But I did like how she developed throughout the story. She became a lot stronger and stopped being like, woe is me, my life sucks, and started kicking ass like she was supposed to. I really liked the sister relationship between Nina and Artemis. I think that it was so well done. There was definitely a lot of hidden resentment between the two sisters, but I like how it was solved and they discussed it in a super productive way. So I definitely liked seeing that. I definitely think that the storyline started off very slow slow but about three quarters of the way in it definitely picked up and became more action-packed so I definitely liked the second half of the book a lot more than the first. Overall it was super fun and I definitely think that fans of Buffy will love this book. And then the final book that I'm going to talk about for this part of the wrap-up was The Cold Is In Her Bones by Peter Nell Van Adrasel. I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. The book follows Mila who has always been told that she needs to be obedient in order to keep demons away. She's always been told that if a girl steps out of line then the demon Hulda will possess her mind and basically turn her insane. Mila lives in solitude on her family farm with her mother, her father, and her brother Nicholas. She is not allowed to go to the village where this curse runs rampant. When a village girl named Iris moves in at next door with her grandparents, Mila finally has a friend but she quickly realizes that the demon may be closer than she suspected. So this is supposed to be a retelling of Medusa but I honestly don't think it is other than Mila has snakes in her hair. That was the only reference to Medusa I saw. I think that the story progressed very slowly and nothing really happened for a good chunk of the book. At times I was super bored with this story and I became very disinterested. It took me a very long time to get through this. I honestly didn't care that much about what happened to Mila or her family, but I did like the female friendship between Iris and Mila and how loyal Mila was to Iris. That was super nice to see. But overall, I think that it was like a super average read for me. Alright guys, so those were the first six books that I read for the month of January 2019. I'll have part two up eventually when I film it and edit it because your girl is behind on everything but let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye